You have plenty to talk about. You do? You do. Go ahead. Hi, this is the something with somebody... the experience podcast with me and someone else i got that part wrong that's how it goes um it's just noah here uh he's he's in his lounge mode so it's going to be a relaxed episode today i think usually yeah. i will say usually it's it's on the bed though or i guess not usually in the past couple of it's been on the bed so we've made it to the living room yeah i moved and you okay well there you go how, how was the move Uh, for our listeners, go ahead and describe. Oh yeah, no, it's, a, it's my new place that I'm showing on video that you can all see. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. It's a lot nicer than my old apartment. It's a townhouse. And it's you and six other people. Is that right? It's me and one other person. One of my friends oh. from college. Who's not me? Friend is a. Strong word. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, it's not you. You decided to move to bumfuck nowhere. All right. Well, it's, uh, I mean, pretty much. Language, no. You know, it's, it's yeah. It's, but it's a kids show. It's not a kids show. Yeah. Well. How is the new place, um, and you, could you go in detail about every single aspect that's different than the old place? Yeah. Sure, yeah, so it's a two-story townhouse versus a one-story apartment. It's three bed, two bath, it's great, spacious, it's really nice. That's uh, that's everything. That's that's all the differences. That's, that's it? <laughs> everything else is the same? I mean, it's a different person, a different style, a different everything. So, yeah, but everything everything else is the same besides everything. Um, okay. Okay. Is that what you've been doing? You've been pretty busy lately. Um, well, I was out of the country. Oh, you want me to talk about I, that? I heard you were in Jacksonville. Um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very foreign place. Well, I, went to, I went to Jacksonville for a wedding, and then I went to Israel. It was very fun. It's a very beautiful country, Jacksonville. Jacksonville, yeah. Yeah. Now Owen uh, messaged me. Yeah, what did he say? He's like, well, are you in Jacksonville? <laughs> That's what he he's said. Still I mean, talk. He's He's pretty talkative. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first time he's ever messaged me first, I think, in my life. Or I think he must have seen it on Snapchat or something yeah. that you were in Jacksonville. That's why you got to show your Snapchat. People like hide where they are. Just show it to your friends because like it creates conversation. If you're near someone you don't know that you're near. Anyways, um, okay, you had a conversation, so you guys met up. And... No, I was with my family, and I had to go back to catch a flight to Israel, a ten-hour flight with no leg room. No leg. They have no leg room. I could spare well, a chair. It's five. It's pretty much overnight. It was not very fun, but everything else was fun there. For you, it was it was too. How old too are you? Ramped. I don't know. Dude, you got to go on birthright. What the fuck? Uh, I think it's too late now. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, how old are you? Yeah, um, we're the same age now. I think. Like, when's your birthday? December. Oh, my God, he told me. <laughs> I think I told you before. You never told me that. Uh, so you, are you turning 27 in December? Yeah. You can still yeah. go. You got you to... It's it, it's tight, yeah. I think I, I think this is the this last... This is, like, year. the last session to go. Dude, you got... It's so much fun. It's a free trip. Like, it's so trip. much fun. Like... It's, um, I definitely looked now because my sister is going this year, I think. 
for the summer. See? Um, but it's tough for me to take like two weeks off. Do it. So anyway, it. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, just because that's my whole vacation for the year. So I get no other days. Pretty much all mine. It's worth it. Yeah, maybe maybe I should then. I don't know. But you gotta do like what is. December to March trips will drop on September. Wait, wait. So you're going to have to go sign up for one of the December trips right away on September 6th. So write that date down. So it's, you got a while. But winter trips. Is it like early December, your birthday? Uh, it's, it's, uh, we have time. Late December. Because I don't know if like they'll let you go if they're like, T- turn 27 during the trip. I don't know. But you gotta go. It's that'd, so that'd, much be, fun. that'd be pretty picky. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. It's so much fun. I had it in my life and I've made a lot of new friends. Are they Jewish? Most of them are as Jewish as you. Which is. Oh. Ethnically. There's a spectrum now. Oh, I'm talking ethnically, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, okay. And anything? Yeah, no, nothing. Nothing else to talk about with Israel. Um, we almost had to change our whole schedule because Gaza was firing missiles into the south of Israel, so we almost didn't go. But then they made a ceasefire, so so we're good. That that happens all the time. I know, but they they don't want tourists going where missiles are being fired every day. I mean. You understand that, right? Especially when they're responsible. Oh, like, what? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I see. I mean, like, what I meant by that was the people in charge of birthright are responsible for us. Yeah, yeah, I. I know. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just, <laughs> I'm causing chaos. Uh, you don't have to sign a waiver if you get yeah, caught. But still, in active war. If they, we are not responsible for, <laughs> very safe. I, I felt safer there than I did here walking around. I walk I walk around Tel Aviv at night by myself. I would never freaking walk around Atlanta at night. You've done myself. that several times. You've walked around Atlanta at night several times. D- Downtown. Yeah. No. You, you, you don't do that. No. What are you talking about? I should, maybe I shouldn't have done that then. When you walked around downtown Atlanta at in the middle of the night. I'm sure. I'm sure I have. Yeah. Why were you in? What, what, what's in downtown? I don't know. Things. Nothing's downtown. downtown. Things. Yes. Um. Yeah. Something like sports. Uh, there you go. Yep. Sports. Oh, I did walk back from a Hawks game once. So there you go. See, see, but I'm also like a. No one's gonna pick a fight with me. Oh, really? Just because I look right? intimidating. Oh. If you if you talk to me, you if you knew me, I'm not intimidating at all. But no, I'm intimidated. Okay, I need to turn off. All right, let's pause the podcast while well, Noah turns off something. Oh. I'm turning off my notifications. So oh, who's, who's messaging you? Let's 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 read it out loud. My friends from Birthright. Oh, I don't like them. Yeah, I know. It's a bunch too of Jewish. I know a bunch of Jews. Um. Yeah. Uh, are these? Are, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Are are these uh, friends you'll be seeing in the future? Or yeah, are, most do we of have them future are. Get to also oh, we have future get-togethers planned. Yeah. Uh, you know, a good Shabbat. You guys are going to be different for that. They're all coming over for Passover, I assume. Beer Fest next week, which is a thing I just found out about. That seems pretty up your alley. Uh, I guess, yeah. But the fact that I never heard of it means maybe not. Well, you know. There's a lot of things out there. How do people keep up with activities? That's true. They talk to people. I mean, come on, I don't do that. Oh my God, it's so loud. 
What have you been up to, Daniel? I, I can't hear you over the uh, oh, hurricane happening. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I can't leave this in. Is it that loud? It's pretty bad. I okay. Don't know. okay. It's, what is it? It's just the air conditioning. Oh, wow. That's it's a not, strong air conditioner. It's not that loud here. Okay, so it's just your microphone is picking it up. Yeah. Give it 20 seconds and turn off. I mean, it sounds like a cement truck driving past you. Be quiet. You know what? Go back and listen to the episode right around the 10 minute mark and, and you'll hear it. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Yeah, write it down. For our listeners, for the, uh, you know, thousands of you, um, please note how loud Noah's air conditioner was. Uh, again, right okay. around this Why point. is it still on? No, it's fine. You're good. I am? And now it sounds fine. I, it's still on. Okay, you didn't no. touch it? Well, maybe the microphone adjusted or something. It, it, it wasn't picking up your voice as your voice. So it couldn't figure out, like, it couldn't okay. figure out which one Anyways, was. Anyways, what have you been up to? I haven't done anything. Next topic. Anything? Uh, you haven't traveled? You haven't traveled? Um, I did go with my family. Oh, well, now my brother. So it's my sister and my parents. You to, have a brother? I have a brother. Um, he's like me, but a little younger. Um, I know that. I actually, he's, he, he's not like me at all. Um, we went to, uh, one of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Just when you left, were they sorry? When you left, were they still leave? Never Let mind. me tell you. <laughs> Those islands. That's a joke. Uh, no one's ever made that joke. I know. Um, yeah, we went there for a week. Uh, you, you don't need a passport to go there, right? I don't know. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just walk right up. U.S. You still have to go through customs on the way back. That's what I was thinking. thinking, Like, why? Because, like, meat and, you know, stuff like that, agricultural stuff. Bring it back. All the the nuts and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever it is. Um, I didn't bring back food, obviously. But uh, you do have to go through customs. But, yeah, we went to the Virgin Islands. It's, It's, you know, different over there. Uh, it's pretty. They're, they're, we went to Saint Croix, which is, I think, the biggest one, but it's still it's still pretty small. Like, like it's like an hour drive, one La coast Croix? to the other. Not Lacroix, uh, but that's where they make Lacroix. It's the biggest Lacroix factory in the world. There. I don't know if I believe you. Yeah, well, it's not true. So. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a good little retreat, um, especially coming. Yes. coming when did you go? When did I go? Um, about a month ago. Yes. In, in the, like early to mid-May, uh, which I think was pretty good because it's it's still pretty hot there, but that's what, that's there's not as many people. I could have seen you at the airport. What airport did you fly into, or fly out of? Saint Croix. No, fly out of. Uh, I flew Syracuse to Charlotte to St. Croix. Oh, okay, never mind. I was at JFK. Yeah, no. I don't fly out of JFK. It's not worth... Well, I could connect through there, but it's not worth driving to JFK for like five hours, five and a half hours. That makes sense. So, anyways, it's always... On the flight back... I had a third. It was thirteen hours. I had no seat in front of me, and it was amazing. You had no seat in front of you. Yeah, I had like an S. Oh, I see. And there was no seat. That's physically no seat. Yeah, that's made for you. I know it was. Like I asked for just an exit row seat, and they gave me that. I'm like, okay. That's you don't go up there and say, guys, come on, look at me. I need. I mean, I said, hey, you haven't. No, I said it when I. They wouldn't let me on the way there because I don't know, but they wouldn't even let me like ask for it. It's tall people privilege. I figured they would give that to you. Yeah, they didn't on the way there, but whatever. Um, any good airplane meals? Oh my God, there was one that was so bad. There's a, it, half of them were kosher. 
And there was one that was not kosher that was so bad. It was so funny. Everyone was, it was like grilled cheese, but it was just stale bread. And I don't know, man. Delta fucked up on that one. They couldn't do grilled cheese? Yeah, right? they really couldn't. Like, it's, it's was not it even grilled. I don't even know. Like, it was, yeah. I think when I went, when I went to Germany, um, what, like five years ago, I think I also, I got, it was like a cheese sandwich, though. They didn't even try to hide it. Like, it was just cheese with bread. Yeah, no, that's what it was, yeah. They didn't even pretend to grill. No, they didn't even grill it. But like, it was like just inedible. Like, you, could, you couldn't rip, like, you couldn't even rip the bread apart. It was too hard. Like, it wasn't. Oh. It was soggy. It, it was soggy and hard at the same time. It's hard to explain. It's, it was like mushy, but you couldn't rip it apart. I, I don't. It was. Like it was stale. Like it was stale, but then also like stale in the middle, but mushy on the outside. The bread. I, yeah, I don't even know how it's possible. Um, Luckily for that one, I got the kosher meal, which was fine. Because I didn't. Um, everyone was, was the kosher meal. Just the bread. It was just. No, it was like oh, turkey. I don't know. Turkey and milk. Yeah. Mm, that does. No, I don't think. I don't think that's true. Um, <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to remember the the breakfast that I had was interesting. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, there was a there was a meal that was actually really good. The other meal was really good. Though, so I don't remember. It was it was just chicken, but it was good. You didn't pay up for like the luxury meals or anything or the. What do you mean? Uh, I, you know, sometimes they'll, like they have the standard meal, like the the, the uh, yeah, complimentary meal. Uh, that's I couldn't think of the word complimentary meal. But then they you can pay for like a uh, one of the fa- like a fancier version, basically. Like you you can pay like twenty five dollars for like a on a better meal. On, and I'm using better in quotes because I don't really know. Once you're on the plane. Yeah, yeah, on the plane. Oh, I don't know. It's like a first class meal almost that you can get. I think it probably comes complimentary to first class or something. I, this, I could be making this up, but I'm pretty sure there were there was that. There's also like additional. Like, yeah. Oh, I could go back and get snacks. I, I went back there at least five times during the flight back and got snacks. And these weren't snacks. No, these weren't the snacks that, um, like they come out and bring to you. These were just extras that you know they said. Oh yeah, if you want to come back. On like a short flight, I would never do that. That would feel so awkward just asking for like a flight, but 13 hours, like, oh my god, I was so fucking hungry. Yeah, can you ask for like double pretzels? And the, I don't know. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, not even that. Like, yeah, but you could just go back and get snacks at any time. Like, you just go back and get it. Like, you don't even go back and ask. You just go. There's like a place where you can, they let you go back and pick it up. It's like the shelves. Can you imagine a vending machine on a plane? It was pretty much that. But I I feel like that'd be a, that'd be a killer, you know. You'd make a lot of money because you could charge like five dollars for for a, like a candy bar. I feel like you know you could upcharge. They already do. It's just not okay. Well, well, I mean, yeah. I just mean like they could really upcharge you because there's literally I mean, they oh, do. such a limited supply. The thing is, you know what? They wouldn't do that. You know why? Because the weight. Yeah, no, obviously. Oh, it, they, it wouldn't be an actual so much more It had to just be like, it had to just be like you walk up and you pay. Or like, you could pay for whatever. Yeah. Like they already did. Saw something like Delta took one soda off of all their flights and they saved like up $50 million a year or something. It was just like, in terms of gas, like it's so, because of how many flights there are. Yeah, it's, uh, that, that can be pretty sensitive. Um, you know, we could have Owen here to talk about that, but he's... Yeah. I already like ships and planes. Yeah, he's doing ship stuff or something. I don't even know. Um. Okay. Well. Yeah. That's uh. It's plane talk. Yeah. I hadn't been on a flight like that since I was a kid. Like a overnight flight. The one there was overnight. The one back was over day. Over over whatever. I I yeah because like, I feel like you. Yeah, because it's kind of changed. I'm on, on the way there, and I'm like, I'm going to pass out. And I woke up like six times, but it was okay. And then we got there, and I went back to bed. Uh, it was it was night there. I, I so learned wasn't I, I adjusted to jet lag very, very easy. or adjusted to the time difference very easily. 
Yeah, I mean, I do it every week, so I'm not like. I'm yeah, the, but I, <laughs> that's twelve hours though. My mine was seven. Yeah, seven. seven uh, so, so you flew. So you left here like at. I'm trying to get this right. It's an overnight flight, but you arrived at night. That doesn't make any sense. Well, we left at eleven fifty. In the morning or at yeah. night? Okay. And you still got there. Oh, because then you got it was there. Ten like hours flight, so that'd be like almost ten a.m. here, which is like seven p.m. there. And then we had a two-hour drive to then very north of Israel, and then we went to bed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now that makes sense. Now I was trying to figure it out. Yeah. I was thinking you left like earlier, so I was like, eh, I feel like you'd get there in the afternoon. But you're you're right. Right. Um, Early. I was I was traveling all day because because we left. We had to get to the airport at noon in Atlanta. Oh, because you had to fly from Atlanta to JFK. Yeah. On the on the way back, it was just a direct. The, the details you're giving me are like in reverse chronological yeah, like, order. I don't care about the connecting flight. It's just <laughs> you're like we got there at night. Oh, but we left the JFK at that time. Oh, but we actually I'm like trying to piece together how yeah, you did man. this trip. But. In they the just office. started doing Tel Aviv to Atlanta like last month, Delta. I think. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of where else you'd fly. Where else does Tel Aviv fly? Sure, tons of places. Probably like DC. Although there, I, when I did, I did the New York, Los Angeles, Angeles, Germany, Miami, San Francisco, Boston. There was no DC doesn't DC does not have a direct flight to Berlin. You'd think that there would be, but there isn't. I think when I when I had to fly out of like Philadelphia or uh, maybe even Newark or something like oh, that. Oh no, that that list I gave you was wrong. Atlanta, San Francisco. That might be it. Wait, what? I mean, obviously New York, but that's not what these say. Whatever. What's happening? I'm just trying to find work. Anyways. Anyways, I think we're done with flight talk. I think we've we've exhausted that. Yeah. Um, Uh, go ahead. You want to talk? What do you want to talk about? I, I'm 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 an open book. You're an open book. Yeah. I don't think that's true. Um, that's very. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, let me pull up the questions and see. Oh, if I don't want to talk about them. that. <laughs> see if you ate them. There's new questions. Oh, the, no, no, that was a joke about. Never mind. I forgot, I forgot about the questions. I got questions. Oh my god! Uh, you're gonna hate them. Questions. You're gonna hate them. Um, come on. Uh, have you ever used your credit card for on something for less than a dollar? Buy a pack of gum or something uh, like that. You know. I'm when I think sure. about this question, I'm like, I actually like, yeah, don't answer. know if I have. I don't know if I've ever have bought ever, anything under a dollar. I was gonna say, have you ever bought anything under a dollar? Well, you know, inflation these when days. I was a kid, of, but, yeah. Um, I'd go to like the dollar store, but even then, that was like one oh seven because of tax or one oh eight. Tax. Okay, I mean, we're rounding at that point. The point is like, I don't small think purchases. So. I don't think I've ever done that now. Okay, I bought like a piece of gum with the coin, but like no, I don't think I've ever, ever spent a credit card on uh, anything under. No, nope, never mind. The uh, going back to vending machines, I do appreciate their uh, credit card enabled now. A lot of them. Or maybe I have bought like a seventy-five cent thing on a vending machine through a credit card. Maybe. There you go. But I, I can't, sure. you know. Um. Is a calzone an Italian quesadilla? 
No, shut the fuck up. No. What the fuck? Who who writes these questions? Everyone else has said yes to that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone else has said yes. Did you think of that? These are all me. No, no one else has ever thought of any of these other questions. I mean, maybe, uh, you know what? I shouldn't say that. I, Calzone is 99%. Fucking tortilla. Who are these idiots that said yes? Everyone else that I've asked, I think, has said yes. KCD is made with a fucking tortilla. Like, what? Never yeah, but the calzone is an Italian quesadilla. No. You know, it's like... It's not. Okay. What up? Let's... Next. Is, okay. <laughs> okay, you're not going to like these. Is skiing just a winter roller coaster? No. Roller coaster, you just sit there and do nothing and enjoy it, if you enjoy that. But... Skiing is, takes a lot of effort. Sure, I think it's about the thrill, right? You 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 sit, you you kind of you take a chain that's up. That's not what the question was. And then you're going downhill. Well, the question is up to interpretation. Well, um, no, and you, you go not. downhill. A roller coaster is really just a way to get down from a hill. No, because you start in at the same place usually. Oh, well, okay, sure. Oh, okay, sorry. A roller coaster is a way to go up and then come back down from a hill. Okay, fine. Skiing. Have you ever heard of cross-country skiing? Okay. All right. Um, it's an Olympic sport. Are, I know. Are oh, these questions are nice. uh, are scones dehydrated muffins? See, that's interesting. <laughs> I could go with a yes there. What's the point of a scone other than to be a dryer muffin? You know? Yeah, no, yeah, I see that. Yeah, see, that's that's an actual valid, <laughs> thoughtful question. Do you like a nice? Do you like a, a scone with a nice crisp outer shell? Is it? Yeah, not not. I like it to be a little. You know, have to have some give. Yes, have some give. it has to have some give. Yeah. I don't even know how you make scones. I mean, I. I I don't know. Ask a British person. Do you it, leave the muffin in long, too long in the oven? Is it just over? It's overcooking your muffin. You looking it up? What a British scone is something? Is it? It's like a biscuit, right? Uh, I I don't know the lingo. And a British biscuit, gonna, like a cookie. I'm not going to pretend to. And know then the a lingo. British cookie. What? I don't know. I don't know what those you're, called. You're definitely going to offend someone if you keep. You know. yeah, we call cookies. They call them biscuits. I'm pretty sure we call them. Muff are uh, biscuits, and they call them scones. What do they call scones? What do, do they call scones? Call scones. Well, what do people something call like U.S. scones? Here we go. Oh, Here's the answer. I think they have American scone. Oh, well, that's very. Not, you know, whatever. It's an American scone, you know? Okay, well, that wasn't, you know, anticlimactic, but... <laughs> oh, you think they call it muffins? <laughs> yeah, no, I wanted it to be like a huge circle. And they call them ch chips. Yeah. Okay, what's the next question? Uh, well, now we're going to ones you might have heard. Uh, Kleenex or puffs? I know this has been terrible today. You gotta know. get the ones with the infused what? gel, yeah. The soft ones. It doesn't matter. Either. Doesn't matter. You don't discriminate tissue. No, but you gotta get the you gotta get the soft the, the soft whatever. I don't know what you're saying. You just keep saying you gotta get the soft. Gotta get the soft. Soft. You gotta get either the ultra soft or the the ultra soft. Is that uh, the puffs plus lotion? Puffs plus lotion. Those are pretty soft, I will say. Very, very soft on the face. Yeah. Ruin your nose. What does? They don't. Like no, regular tissues, if you like have a cold and blow your nose every ten minutes, 
ruin your nose. Yeah, my my nose is already ruined, I think. Well, you should have... Should have what? Should've. <laughs> should've. You take it. You take a screenshot of me, or is that the old photo? That was from like three years ago. Uh, you should have okay. uh, used the one I would just said. The soft, the, ultra soft, the, or, soft, the soft yeah. one, the soft. S A F T. It's more just like it's a constant stream of mucus. Anyway, I think we're done with that. Um, Gross. Next question, not related. Uh, ice cream or creamed ice? I've heard that before. You have? Okay. And, and I, I don't want to answer that again because it's the stupidest question of all time. <laughs> well, I think you've heard all these. Cars or Mars? Or what? Mars? Yeah. No, cars or Mars? Um, Mars? Um, I don't know. Cars kind of suck. Do you mean Mars the planet or Mars the candy brand? I was talking about the planet. Not the confectionery. No. Brand. I wasn't, and neither was I talking about the movie Cars. I was talking about the... You were talking about the, yeah, the movie Cars. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, it wasn't the movie versus the candy. Okay. Yeah. I just had to clarify yeah. for our listeners. Yeah. Rookie... Or crowny. I don't know what either of those mean. Okay, think about it. Brookie or crowny. Wait, say it again? Brookie. Brookie? Yeah. Or crowny. Or crowny? Yeah, think about it. I'll give you a minute. You got a minute on the clock to I figure out what... I feel like one of those is a thing that's real. Um, just like most of these questions where I do this sort of thing. One of them is actually real, and the other is the one that I made up. Like, like it's a real thing. I don't know what crowny is. I don't think brookie is a real thing. Brookie is a real thing. No, oh, what? That. Is that like a, what is it called, a thing when you can buy two words? A... Yeah, it's a portmanteau. Of yeah, portmanteau. Crowny. Both of these are okay. Right? Okay, let's just let's just explain the joke. Okay. okay. It's a cookie. Okay. Now, geez, I didn't get that. It's like a. It's like a, it's a. It's a. It's the cookie made into like the shape of a brownie almost. That's, that's what a brookie is. Okay, that's fucking. It's sweet. like a. It's it's basically a mix. It's like a brownie cookie or a cookie brownie, if you want. Okay, I was thinking something way different. <laughs> I was crowny. E Y. No. I, no I, that I would, would be. I would need to. Have that would be like a college nickname or something. No, yeah, I, I was very confused. No, this is this is rookie or crowny, whichever one you prefer. Brookie, I guess. I rookie is the, the socially acceptable one, but again, okay. we're open to crowny. I think both of them are stupid. You think both of them? Brookies are pretty good if you get a good one. Um, What's the difference between a brookie and a blondie? I think... Hold on. Let me let me get the actual definition here. A blondie is like vanilla-based, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm looking it up. A brookie is like... Oh, I don't know. I guess the blondie has a different texture, is what this says. I don't know, um, but perhaps they're they're related. Perhaps they're cousins. I don't know. Okay. The point here is you chose neither. Neither. I think you've heard all the other ones, so I'm not going to get into the other ones. Um, but we can end it there. I think we've we've exhausted the uh, the portmanteau list. Unless I can find another one. I, I definitely have another one. I just have to find it. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, Noah is clapping on screen. I'm going to get rid of this stupid shit.
Is it my face? No, I, I got rid of it. Well, thank you for coming on, Noah. Well, thank you. I uh, appreciate <laughs> it.